Hey, so what's up guys, Matthew with Droid Tech. Before I begin this video, I would like to say a big thanks to X1 for sponsoring this video and sending out the items in this package we, we will be checking out later and through this video. And also, if you haven't subscribed to this channel already, hit the subscribe button and enable notifications so you can get updated on the latest content. So without further ado, let me slice this package open and check the contents out. So if you have seen my previous videos, you will know that I've worked with X1 in the past reviewing their screen protectors and uh, they have been good products, no doubt about it. Very much comparable with the top end brands. But of course, they do make only plastic screen protectors and not glass ones like many of the popular brands in the market. So let's see what comes in this package. So as you can see, X1 actually sent me four of their products, two of which are their Ultra Crystal Clear series for the S9 Plus as you can see right here both same for S9 Plus and also two of their new cases they used to sell just screen protectors but now they actually sell cases as well these cases are actually tough cases for the Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus I'll be keeping these cases for a separate video I'll just be focusing on the Ultra screen protectors so I'll put these two to the side so the Ultra series is basically X1's new line of screen protectors the difference between the Ultra series and the Extreme series is that the Ultra series doesn't come with anti-shock function but they support full screen coverage for curved screen phones like the S9 Plus which I'm going to be installing on in a moment so people have understood screen protectors as an item which will protect the screens from shattering on hard impact but actually that's not the case because screen protectors actually protect the screen from scratches and slight impact so the features of the ultra series screen protector is that it's full screen which actually wraps until the rear of the phone so it's actually not really the whole rear just the sides and slightly covering the back portion which you will see later when i install it and it's also thin enough to maintain touchscreen sensitivity it's also crystal clear so you might be wondering why not just use a glass screen protector why use x1's ultra's crystal clear series because one thing which you will notice with glass screen protectors especially for curved screen phones is the air gap in between the screen and the glass protector that actually impacts touchscreen sensitivity and you have to crank up the sensitivity to compensate for the air gap on top of that glass screen protectors are pretty fragile i've seen many of my friends using glass screen protectors for their curved screen phones and due to the reason that even the cases do not have a lip at the side to protect the curve so upon dropping the phone it actually impacts the screen protector directly which causes the screen protector to shatter another problem with glass screen protectors is that glass screen protectors if used with most cases actually causes lift as the glass screen protector actually covers right to the edges of the screen so if you're using a case like UAG and uh, even sometimes the original first party cases it causes the screen protector to lift but this guarantees full case compatibility so no issues right there i'll be trying out with the autobox case which i am currently using which is the autobox pursuit series if you want to check my video on this case i'll leave a link in the description so you can check that out and i'll also be testing with the two cases which i mentioned earlier to show that this screen protector is indeed case compatible okay so before i begin the installation let me go through what comes in the package itself so you can see x1 branding on the top left then you can see ultras crystal clear screen protector and then it's 5h anti-scratch not 9h but 5h so it's slightly less impact resistant or less scratch resistant so you can see it's for the galaxy s9 plus and the seamless series let me bring this close right here you can see it's seamless series right here and uh, the QR code to their website and on the back we can see how to install this screen protector and also there's a video here with installation instructions so you can see right here the difference between X1 as compared to the others okay so finally we have cracked into the package so we have an installation kit right here with uh, removal stickers positioning labels and whatnot and also uh, alcohol wipe microfiber cloth and also a tab to actually peel off the film after installation inside this foam wrap we actually get the screen protector itself you can see it's a soft screen protector thicker than most in the market but 
much thinner than the Extreme series. Okay, so let's get into installation right now. Alright, so guys, I just finished installing the X1 Ultra Series screen protector. And uh, let me give you a closer look at the screen protector. It's not really set in yet, but uh, give it another 24 hours or so, it would settle in perfectly. It is not the best install. And I think you can see from the corners right here. You can see there's some bubbling at the corners. You can see, but of course, it was a successful install, but uh, not the best one I've done. And it wasn't the easiest install as well because um, this screen protector is pretty soft and it's very uh, sticky, I should say. So when I was wrapping it around the corner, the back decided to get stuck before the side. So I guess the way I applied it was not according to the instructions. But anyways, I managed to get it soft by actually lifting up the rear and pressing it from the sides. Something like what I'm showing you right here. And that got the screen protector in place. You can see over here in the corner. So it's it's a very nice screen protector, I should say. You can see the oleophobic coating. I uh, let me give you an example. Cleaning off the smudges right here with the uh, provided microfiber cloth. It's not too bad. Funny thing about my package is that this squeegee wasn't included. I have no idea why. I think it's only in my package. So I had to get one of my old X1 packages which I kept and uh, take that and that solved the issue of me having issues trying to push out the bubbles so overall i should say very nice screen protector i'm very impressed in fact this series i think looks much better than the um, extreme series the extreme series is good definitely for shock protection and whatnot but for this it's more towards the looks i think because the way it curves towards the back like this I, i'm not sure whether the light is picking up the corners here let me try to show you it actually wraps around to the back so this means it's not going to lift up as compared to many of the nano screen protectors i should say branded ones uh, that actually only stop at the edge of the screen so that means when you install a case you actually lift the screen protectors especially at the edges i've tried a few and they were major fails so i couldn't recommend that at all by the way, this looks very good. In fact, I should say this is one of the better ones out there. I should say the best nano screen protector you can ever get. But of course, it's called the Ultra Crystal Clear series. Um, okay, now let me move on to the part where I show you case compatibility. So I have a few cases right here. I have their official X1 branded case. Okay, let me show you. Of course, the official cases work. But I'll be also showing you with the auto box. So you can see there are no lifting issues at all because you can see from the corners, they don't extend all the way to the edge of the screen. And uh, on top of that, when I actually install the sides of the case, because it's wrapped to the words the back, the back actually holds the whole screen protector together, which means there's no issues with lifting whatsoever. Okay, let me try it with the original Samsung case because this is the Malaysian version of the S9 Plus so we get an included TPU case so you can see I'm putting on the TPU case no problems again let me give this screen a nice wipe down you can see no issues at all at the edges this screen protector is actually very similar to the Invisible Defender by Rinky I've tried that with a couple of phones and those were fails 
even though they give a lifetime warranty but you know the duration to get that and the installation wasn't a good process at all i always failed to install though that screen protector so i decided to like you know never touch that screen protector brand again this screen protector when i opened it i felt like it was the same material so i was very skeptical on my ability to install but because of the technology with air bubble releasing right here i think that actually helps the whole process make it a little more smoother and easier to install so now i'll be trying it off in my last case which is the Autobox pursuit series the most favorite case currently so let me snap it on so the process is going to be pretty straightforward so you just snap it Step on the front portion and then you're done so i will fast forward to that point and i will show you how the screen protector plays with this case you can see i've already successfully installed the pursuit series and you can see there is also no lifting at the edges even though this case actually presses onto the screen because it has rubber gasket running around the whole front rim you can see there are no lifting issues so this screen protector is definitely a go if it works with this case, it will work with a multitude of cases. Just to give you an example, there are actually no such sensitivity issues upon applying this screen protector. As you can see, I'm, I'm able to scroll through all my apps smoothly and all points of the screen. No issues at all. So you can see this screen protector doesn't affect the usability of your phone. So guys, Ultra Series Clear Screen Protector is definitely a go. I'll leave a link in the description if you're interested to check this screen protector out. And I'll also leave a link in the description for the other set of cases. I'll be doing those cases in a separate video to show you how they fit and the presentation and uh, so on and so forth. Even though this doesn't offer a whole lot of drop protection, I mean, that's not the whole point of a screen protector. It's just to prevent the screen from getting scratched. Drop protection, leave it to a proper case, a good case like the Autobox Pursuit which I have here. So that's all for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know in the comments what you would like to see in the next video. I'm trying to get my hands on the P20 Pro. I'm not sure yet whether I'll be able to do that. If I do manage to get my hands on the P20 Pro, I'll update you guys on my social media, Facebook as well as Instagram. So do follow me there. Instagram at droidtech underscore official and Facebook at droidtech unbox. I'll see you guys there. So take care. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.